huh? sitting here trying to be cute and I caught a cramp. Hold on. You did? No. You can walk it out. You can walk it out. Whatever you need to do. You walk it out. Yeah. You walk it out. We walk it out. Yeah. Yeah. Clickbait. We walk it out. That's the cramp scene. Jolly horse. We usually have to electrify people. We have one of those little buzzers. Yeah. Just trying yeah. it out. These work pretty okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Well, so we... I was trying to get my thigh muscle right here. Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> Remember that in Secret of My Success? Uh, we always start off like, right oh, out of the gates. Oh, no, please. <laughs> right out of the gates for the bang. But see, I can only say that in front of family, and you guys are family. Okay, <laughs> of course we're family. So good. That's why you're here. Start. Honestly, I no. think we honestly, started. Honestly, started. Yeah, honestly, we just started. Guys, guys a, Tim Fields, everybody. <laughs> Tim Fields. Wow, I love it. Welcome to the Pod to Pod, the Brilliant Love Pod. Pod to Pod, we are, we are back. back. <laughs> we are back. And we are here Friday. joined by yeah. a... You know, they say like like family is you yes. don't have to be related by blood to have somebody that's that's like a family member. And we have somebody in house with us today who is, I mean, what we've known each other basically my whole life, yeah. our whole lives. Our whole uh, lives yeah. And uh, and it's just incredible to, you know, people talk about all the time, like if you can hang in there, it's a tough industry in which we work, you know, yeah. but if you can hang in there and, and you can continue to do what you want to do decade after decade after mm -hmm. decade, like it's, that's a feat unto itself. And you are the epitome of that. I mean, you have just transcended generation and generation yeah. and generation and generation have had yeah. it shows in uh, like decades and me too. And it's yeah, so yeah. weird because people don't realize that. Yeah. I mean, it's something to have a hit show in the seventies going into the eighties, yeah. in the nineties, right. in the, in the two thousands. I mean, it's like winning the lottery, I mean, having really one is. hit show. I you know, know what I mean? It's Even ever, ever, man, so. it's ever. such a blessing. It is. Yeah, it such is. a blessing. But it takes and diligence and hard work too. It, it and takes talent. a lot of stuff. It takes talent. Thick well, skin. You know, sometimes talent. That's true. Thick skin. Uh, <laughs> thick skin. <laughs> a lot of thick skin, a lot of um, reinventing mm, of yeah. oneself. I know. Uh, a lot of perseverance and patience. Total yeah. patience um, and perseverance, and, yes. And and not taking yourself too seriously. Having well, you can. fun. That's huge. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you have to have fun with this. Otherwise, 100%. it becomes this, this thing all of a sudden. And then there's yeah. no more fire in your belly to do this. I agree. Yeah. 100%. As soon as you lose the sense of self and and you become obsessed with yourself, then you mm. can't you you can't make fun of yourself anymore. As soon as yeah. you lose the ability to make fun of yourself and yeah. laugh at yourself, it's over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like we yeah, lose yeah. comedy if we stop laughing at Absolutely. ourselves. Yeah. We talk about this all the time, even yeah. like with comedians and stuff. You mm -hmm. know, we are losing the ability to laugh at ourselves. Yes. And idiosyncrasies yeah. and mm -hmm. even stereotypes. Mm -hmm. Like they're true because yep. we laugh because they exist. They exist. It doesn't sure. mean they're bad. Right. Like the like the dorky white guy at the wedding right. is real. Is real. We grew up with those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Like the uncle. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's not yeah. cool, dude. You know, yeah. right, right, right. That's not, yeah. stop yeah. dancing, stop please. It, stop yeah. it, yeah. And you have to be able to laugh. But as soon as that's offensive, yeah. and we talk about this all the time, like with comedy, because I know you've spent mm -hmm. a lot of your career in comedy, so yeah. have I. We, 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 mm -hmm. we all have. As soon as we lose that ability, like you can forget Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy and yep. George, George Carlin. Carlin. I know. Yeah. They're not, no yeah. one's going to be laughing at those guys yeah. anymore. Don Rickles, everybody. Don Rickles, where do we go? <laughs> like, you know, even like you look at what Dave Chappelle's going through even of late. Like, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is comedy, folks. It's an oversensitizing, and yeah. there's then the overcorrecting yes. that comes 100%. and the overcompensation. That's it. Uh, we also see it gender wise. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Um, I'm a mom of boys. And right? so, um, <laughs> you know, so. I'm a dad of girls. Girls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm, you're not gonna like what I have to say right now. Then. Do it. But it's it's, <laughs> it's basically this overcorrecting of um, now we need all this girl power and now we need all of this girl confidence and things. And it's like, well, hang on, let's let's not go so far that you then are extracting the boy element yeah, and the male <clears throat> element. I agree with that. You know, you. and it's, 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 we have to just keep working to keep finding balance. Yes. hundred percent. That's that really is what so it's about. Key. That right? is yeah. the key. I feel like it's so crazy. I feel like that we instinctually as people know the balance. Mm -hmm. I think we do. We know it. We figure it out. We're accepting of, you know, alterations, but we know a balance that works. Mm -hmm. And yet we've, like you said, we've become so prone to highlight yeah. every imbalance yes. that now the balance is imbalanced yeah. because yeah. we are obsessed with highlighting everything that is yeah. we deem not okay or not right. And it's now because everybody has a microphone, everybody yeah. has a platform, yeah. so everybody wants to shake their angry fist. Yeah, That's it. Even if it's just to be a bandwagon yeah. 
fist right. shaking. It's true. Right. Even if platform. it's just to get involved and yeah. not because they actually believe it or know what they're even so right. they're fighting for. Right. Ultimately. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So right. Look, it is very important. I mean, it is very important that if if your boys want to be boys, they're boys. Like, yeah. and we celebrate that. And yeah, my girls, if they want to be girls, they are celebrated. Yeah. They are, they're going to be powerful. I don't need that. I mean, I don't ever preach them about being, you get out there. You're, I, I just say, just like I would, just like I said to Andy and Matt, listen, guys, you can do anything you want to do. That's right. Respect go out there yourself. and do it. That's yeah. it. You know? And do your best. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Do That's your it. best. I don't, That's it. I don't raise them to go, you're a female, so. You know what <laughs> right. I mean? Yeah. Uh, no. Go yeah. out there. I don't even mention that. You go out there and you do what you want to do in yeah. this world. Right. The great thing about this world and this country is that you go do what you want to do and you're going to have a shot. Well, because you work hard. It, really, in the end of the day, too, isn't it? Doesn't everybody just want everyone to be really happy of course. with themselves. Yeah. It's not sure. like, like you can do your thing and you can be you can be happy. Yeah. But then when we all come together, we all don't need to necessarily bring into that like what it is that makes us happy. Exactly. Right. You can it's we true. can all come from many different angles. And that makes us better. And yeah. that makes us better. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, it is. And yeah. you yeah, Always. It's, so you yeah. can have the individual It's like a it's like a it's like a, a piece of art with just one color. That doesn't yeah. work. That's yeah. not yeah. art. Exactly. exactly. That's not beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah. the combination of things that mm -hmm. make it so great. We mm -hmm. we can all do it. I I don't the, know how you talk about female track. empowerment stuff in particular. Like I, I remember growing up, there were even in animated things. Like you watch, like the chipmunks. The yeah. female chipmunks were the ones that I mean, they didn't highlight female yeah. empowerment. To your point, because you're yeah. right, I'm very sensitive to that because I have girls, mm -hmm. right? And they were just they were strong and yeah. effective. Yeah. Yeah. You look at you look at For Minnie sure. and Mickey. I mean, right. Minnie Mouse bossed yeah. Mickey around all yeah. the time. Kermit and Piggy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Piggy. Yeah. <laughs> And it was like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, yeah. um, you are terrible, yeah. terrible, you know. Okay, great, right? That's what it was. Daisy, yeah. she bossed Donald around. Yeah. I mean, it's always our grandmother bossed our grandfather <laughs> around. Yeah. I mean, that's the yeah, way it is. Totally. I think women are powerful. They've yes, always been powerful. So powerful. But in this highlighting, all of a sudden you start to create this feeling of doubt whether we're yeah. not empowered and, and you are. You yeah. know, and you, you of course we're always getting better. That's what mm -hmm. we do. And growth right? is messy. And challenge yeah. and growth it's is always gonna be challenging messy. ourselves. Yeah. But to your point, like that's yeah. what's so cool is that instinctually. Women are very powerful at certain things, sure. and guys are better at other things. That's yeah. the way it works. We I, don't all need to be good at the same things. That's boring. Right, yeah. Right? Exactly. There would be no balance. Right. Very yeah. much so, no there balance. But I also feel like there's this sense of segregation to, to, to elevate. We don't need to segregate Amen to, to elevate. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I don't need to put you guys down so that I can be stronger and so more right. confident and more 100%. whatever the more is that I'm in search of. That's right. You know, I just be that. Yep. And as opposed to stepping on you, uh, old folks used to say crabs in a barrel. Mm -hmm. yep. And the crabs to try to get out of the barrel would step on the other crabs in order right. to elevate themselves. Right, sure. And it's like we end up, again, segregating. Yeah. As opposed to finding the ways that make us or the things that make us um, different, the balances, mm. embracing all of that, the yeah. art that comes from that. Yeah. And that's what makes us strong. It's like I don't I don't perceive myself as a female director or a black director. Right. I'm a director. Right. And Amen. that's it. Yep. I bring Amen. those other nuances 100%. there. Absolutely. You know, I'm Absolutely. not a black actor. I'm not a female. Actor. I love that. I'm right. just an actor. 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 That exactly. Is so cool. I. I, I say it all the time. I mean, we grew up loving and we all grew up loving the Cosby show, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't think for one minute about anything other than mm -hmm. I love that family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I related to that family. I love watching those kids sure. in the situations with their parents. And I didn't think 100% that was- 100% relatable, yeah, I know. Yeah, I didn't think anything that they were black or African-American family and sure. I, that, that family isn't like my family. I didn't mm. think that for one minute. That was the number one show in this country by far for years. Mm -hmm. We would gather around our televisions and watch the shows yeah. and watch shows like Facts of Life and watch oh, shows like, Give Me a Break. Sorry, I, gotta do I mean, you look at Give Me a Break. You look at, look at these shows. They mm -hmm. were mm -hmm. they were multicultural. We were being examples of how we all and our differences work together. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. Yep. that's I it. Say. I was gonna say sorry. Oh yeah, he has. So no. Facts of Life for me was you, that show. You loved like, the show. People it. always know. People always ask me like, "What did you like watch when you were a kid?" And this time I was like thinking, "No, it was it was Facts of Life. That was Isn't the that one crazy? for me." Isn't that wild? Isn't that wild? Like, yes. That's the one. That's the one wow. I was like, That's the one I wanted to see. Well, he was singing a song on the way over here. Yeah. Well, the thing that surprises me with that is my point of reference with you specifically. No offense. No, I'm taken. Is that you were. Five, mm. six, or something like that. When we did the special in Rome, mm -hmm. that's right. 
And that exactly was right. on the on the ending of oh. of Facts of yeah, Life. Yeah, that's right. So for you to say that that was that's like one of your go tos, yeah. I'm like, Isn't that crazy. Really? You're gonna have to work? fill me in. What? So just explain Rome. this wrong. So okay. Rome. when did you guys meet? So, and how? So and when Andy, Rome, Andy, how did Andy I Williams, miss this? Yeah. The, the the late great yes. legendary yes. Andy Williams. Who you know was a tremendous singer uh, mm -hmm. for generations that don't know who Andy Williams is. He was like an iconic just crooner. He yeah. was he was he was he was at times as popular as Sinatra and Tony Bennett. Yeah, at times. I remember the Christmas he, specials. Of, well, well yeah. Yeah. it's the most wonderful time. Oh, that's right. I got one of his biggest hits. Okay, and he did a lot of other ones too. Yes. But and he had he um he started Andy Williams ran the film festival in Branson. Okay, you know, that's Andy Williams' thing. He did this big, like- Branson? Branson, Missouri. Missouri? Yeah. Yes. Really? Wow. Yeah, so Andy Williams- Why do you know that? that I, I, I don't do know. I know. I know. <laughs> what the hell? I know. Anyway, Branson, Missouri, Andy Williams was- Joe's a was, huge Andy Williams. I'm a big Branson <laughs> guy. No, but anyway, he had a big- anyway. Anyway, I don't know why I know these weird facts. <laughs> yeah. My brain just soaks up these weird things. He does. But, he but, so, so, but Andy sure. Williams. So yeah. Andy Williams, so he would do these specials for NBC. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Matt and I did one in right. Finland where we were in the search for Santa Claus. Right. And it was such a big hit that they did right. a follow-up where we did Easter in, in Rome. Rome. Oh, uh, we were the follow-up. We, we, we I think first. that was the sequel. Oh, okay. I think that was like the sequel because the Got first it. one was that Christmas. we had done anyway, okay. we've done a lot of specials. Yes. But he would, the, the, they, the included, they included yes. some kids, gotcha. right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, I think like Malcolm wow. Jamal was in the first yes. one. Guys, I'm getting crazy flashbacks. Yeah. I know, right now. <laughs> you should, I know. Yes. Popo Gigio, the little thing. Uh -huh. yeah, Popo Gigio, yes, that was from the wrong, right. And you made this wonderful, those little friendship bracelets. For the Pope. He made one for the Pope. And Joey goes, Holy Father. <laughs> <laughs> I will my mom never was like, you, forget that. You, you, <laughs> what? Yes. No. Now you're not allowed to and give him only, anything. You went up yeah. to the Pope and, and went, holy and, the, and the Pope blessed him for the friend, well, not for the friendship bracelet, but yes. But he yeah. actually took yes. it. Yes. Oh, yeah. the Pope is not allowed yes. to touch anything, okay? Yeah. I didn't know that. So I hand him this friendship bracelet. Yep. Wow. Holy and Father. it's, and he took it. And that's, it was he, the sweetest always thing the handler in will take it. the world. But he wow. actually took my friendship yeah. bracelet from me. We were at the Vatican. We met the Pope. We yeah. did dance routines. I mean, we. I do remember the routines. Yes. And again, what a Horse time! Carriage, what a, everything. What a time, right? So the reason why you, baby doll, don't know that is because you weren't born. Yeah, eighty-eight. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We did that in eighty-six. He was born in eighty-eight. Yeah, Isn't that crazy. He was born nineteen eighty-eight. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting, know, isn't I he? Know. I give him that look every morning. <laughs> he was born the year after Dirty Dancing fair. came out. Uh, oh I think Dirty Dancing came out in 87. Sure Another one in 87. Okay. No, wow, Beverly Hills Cop 2 was 88. That's yeah. right. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, you're here. He's here. You're here that's, now. That's it's important. true. But yeah. Yes. So, so, but, but rewinding us back to what started that rabbit hole. Yeah, we go down them all the time over here on this show. Yeah. Is that, um, Facts of life and you and you have a connection, yeah. which to me is such a disconnect because mm. of of what my reference is with you. No, wow, well, he was Very a little wild. he was a little kid. I, I mean, know. super little, but watch yes. it, loved it. Oh, I yes. just love the I love the idea of of I don't know. I just he loved I, you rode around on roller skates. I mean, he remembered that. Wow. Isn't that wild? Yeah, now? yeah, oh, that's yeah wild. of course. That, then you were in reruns then because you weren't born when I was skating. No, no that's no, right. No, 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 but I watched it from probably, I found it around the prime five, time. Five, or five or six years old. Like literally okay. like, right? And yeah. it was it was interesting because. I remember you watching the end because we watched it together. And then I went and then I, right, in and then reruns, we watched it. Because yes. yes. I was so infatuated with it. Yes. I always loved um, another, uh, Annie, the movie Annie. Okay, And I felt like it had a similar theme to that. It was like. We, Almost like we, the, the, we weren't orphans. No, no but like, but, but like the law, like like all the kids coming together <laughs> right. underneath yes. one roof type yes, of a thing. I absolutely. love that principle. I love the Lost Boys in uh, Peter Pan for of that course. aspect. Absolutely. Yeah. So for some reason, my mind always is like, uh, uh, even the the serious one, like the Lord of the Flies, when yeah, they got all crazy yep. in that movie, and they ate each other. <laughs> well, no, that's not a, something like that. No, but, no, but yeah, no. But that whole, I don't know, the the, the kids coming together. I think it's because honestly, I'm gonna get a little deep here. Being oh, a, and see if maybe if you've experienced this, uh, being a, a, a child and uh, that other child maybe can recognize, yeah. it isolates you. It's mm -hmm. harder to make, mm -hmm. or for me, this was my experience. Okay. It was harder for me to make friends with kids. Okay. So the idea of all the kids being together under one roof and being right, like right. having camaraderie was something um, I longed for. Yeah, yeah. Got it. it I is. understand that from a different perspective. I was an only child until I was 13 almost. Gotcha. So Alexis came on the scene, you know, she was born when I was, uh, like I said, almost 13. Yeah. Right. So I understand that sense of, of longing, longing to be around others. Yeah, it's crazy. And my mom was, uh, she always had an acting school and would put on productions at local theaters and things. And so that became my 
Got sense it. of um, so cool. extended family. You yeah. know, Andy and I are 12 and a half years apart. Really? Yes, really? we are. Matt wow. and I are only three and a half, but yes. then my parents waited a while and had, yes. had Andy. So mm-hmm. it was weird. I was able to experience both that, like Matt yeah. and I were... Like, you know, pretty, I mean, we were far, far along kind of, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Andy came along and I was more like an uncle. Quite, right. Yeah. You feel more yeah. like that. Quite you the know? cosmic shift. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It <that> sure was. <laughs> it really was. And it still is every day. <laughs> Especially that we're working together again now like we are. It's, That's so great. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty it's wild so stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty, yeah. been pretty fun. <laughs> it's been yeah. pretty fun. So you did, so you, so like Facts of Life ran for how many years? Nine years, Nine right? Nine years, yeah. 79 to 88. Wow. But before Facts of Life, I was on a show called um, Baby I'm Back. And so Baby I'm Back ran for a season on CBS with Mm. DeMond Wilson. Uh, This was his shot after Sanford and Son. Mm. And Denise Nicholas, who was like a really big, you know, very beautiful um, actress in the Mm. mid-70s. And especially for the black community. And so they played my parents and... We were at CBS Radford. Were you? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at the history the, there. And the, Dude, well, the, yeah. the full circle moment for me is the sound stage that we filmed on is now the sound stage no. where I film no. that girl Lele that I direct. Oh, no way. way. So Gosh. it is very full circle to wild? come I love to hearing work like and that. see and pour into yeah. these these kids and young adults mm. um, yeah. at a time and, and specifically in a space yeah. when I was first starting. It's, Isn't that it's crazy? Really just isn't that crazy that so cool. wow i got like yeah. I'm yeah. you've been, yeah. you've been yeah. doing this you've been doing this how long because i've been doing this people often can't believe i've been doing this 42 years right yeah. you've been doing it longer than that yes wow yes and that's what we'll say okay but <laughs> and you see that's but now wild. that's that's impressive because it is to get a chance to you know at like we were saying like at one show yeah. as, for, uh, to have a hit in as an actor to have mm-hmm. one show mm-hmm. but to continuously do it yeah. decade after decade yeah that not only speaks, you know, highly of obviously what you got going on and your diligence and your the way talent you, and your talent. Thank mm-hmm. you. That's just that's that's an that's an incredible accomplishment. Well, thank you. And you know, again, to God be the glory. Yes, um, yeah, absolutely. I was recently with uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner and Blair Underwood, and we were awesome. talking about we still have our sanity. Mm-hmm. You know, the that's three of you so are key. here with your sanity. I feel like we do too. Yes, you you have your soul. Yeah. Intact. Yes. Yeah. Um, after doing this and being yep. in it and around it for yep. so long, yep. and you still have a passion for some aspect yep. of of this, Absolutely. you know, and that's that's really a testament to. Um, after a while, it becomes, to me at least, the foundation. Mm, absolutely. You know, the foundation that that you all have set and the the human beings that you have built on that foundation. That's right. You know, and and that you've become. That's right. And so I I'm very grateful for that yep. um, for myself. But then to top it off, when um, you were saying about the like picking the lottery. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so when you can also realize that you've got castmates that are like family, and technically, guys, we were castmates. So of you're in this whole I know you know yeah. thing know as it. well. This crockpot of of people that so I have wild. been blessed to work with. Ah. And I mean, just just time and time again, you know, yeah. facts of life. Uh, living, living single, single living big, single, the 90s, I know, I mean, just, just definitely picking those those lottery cards of, wow, this just the people that yeah, I'm working yeah, with. Because so cool. you can have a great character, a great constitution, great family, mm-hmm. and, and your village and all that, and every day you go to work with a bunch of, can I yeah, cuss? You yes, can. Assholes. I'm 100% <laughs> correct. We've all you worked know? with them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not fun. So, it is not fun. So, 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 you know, that's not my experience. And then... The fact that the first two like hit series for me um, that created 14 years of, of television, comedy television, for me was with a bunch of chicks. <laughs> <laughs> True. And wow. and 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 we all get along great. We wow. all still love each other. Wow. We are all you know. That's what I mean? a lottery it's, in itself. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. On television show. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. and, oh and God. That we were, yeah. And that we were growing up and, and yeah, all of for those sure. things. So the fact that we te- like I watched this um this wham. Uh, Dr. Yes. We were just talking about it. Yes, we haven't oh, seen it. Talking about it. We haven't yes. seen it. What? We actually yeah. did a social post this morning. Yeah, yeah. talking oh, about, about our Let little. Me, oh my gosh! And so after I, I texted Mindy Cohen and I said I was watching this Wham documentary and all I could think of was like all of our years together growing up because right. that was like the soundtrack mm-hmm. of so much of our lives. The I way know. that 
the Motown sound yeah. is oh. the soundtrack for so many people. And it was just... For our parents, it was Motown. Yeah, my dad absolutely. loves oh Motown. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. That was but it. for us, the 80s, and I talk oh, about gosh. all the time. Oh, my God. You talk about... The artists that we You have. talk about, again, oh, going backwards. God. We've yeah. gone backwards yes. musically. And I'll yeah. say it. Because yeah. let me tell you something. In the 80s, I, we, I didn't even think of urban music versus rap music versus it was a right. great song. Yep. And if you looked at the top Period. 40 charts, yes. you had you had everything from Stevie Wonder, Prince, Michael, mm -hmm. you had Bruce Springsteen, you had Rolling <laughs> Stones, yep. you had Aerosmith, Kenny, Kenny Loggins, no, yes. Michael McDonald, who listen. I'm obsessed with. I know yep. you are. Yeah. 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 Michael we McDonald. Yeah. Don't that even get me. Michael McDonald Mondays. <laughs> she don't goes, even no, get really? me. Really? She's what? seen every she, no. Kim posts. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All no. the time, Michael McDonald stuff. Oh, this oh, is yeah. awesome. Michael McDonald. I am obsessed Mondays. with Michael McDonald. Oh, okay. Oh yes. my God. Let me tell you something. When I hear she came from somewhere back in a long ago. He is one of the baddest. He is ever. Oh. He is ever. so good, dude. Yeah. I love him. Okay. Absolutely. So I, and and you have, and, and you have records like that's what friends are for with yes. Dionne oh Warwick, yeah. Elton yeah. John, John singing together on those oh songs. I mean, this is yes. like you know Gladys Knight. You yeah. have like. Christopher Cross. Christopher, Christopher Cross. Oh my God. Oh, I love Christopher Cross. Cross. Okay, That's you know, my favorite. you know, in 1984, Santa Claus brought us three tapes. They brought Matt, I swear to God, they brought Matt and I, Dire Straits. That's right. Christopher oh, Cross, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. And they brought us uh, 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 Starship. I don't know if you remember Starship, but we built wow. this city. Of course. Okay. Yes. We built this city on rock, rock and roll. roll. Built yep. this city. Yes, okay. absolutely. So Matt, when we were kids, on our way to New York, <laughs> on our way to New York, he would go, Dad, Christopher Cross, Christopher Cross. We put in the tape. He would listen to the entire tape, both wow. sides. For people from our generation, you had to flip it. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah A and B yeah. side. Yeah. Um, and for people from our generation, I right. burned that tape out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Destroyed it. He had to get it again. He got you it. You listened to him too much. He, he got it Christmas wow. 86. Right, right. Santa right. brought an encore in Christmas 86 because he wow. ruined the Christmas 84. I'm not kidding. He's like, Santa, oh my thank gosh. you again. Oh I'll never God, forget it. Awesome. Santa brought him another Christmas that cross. Way to go, Santa. Oh, so wonderful. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. yes. Wow. Not far down to paradise. Wow. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I, I yeah. went to a, a, a Yacht Rock cruise. I'm obsessed mm. with Yacht Rock Radio. Oh, my God. I put it on Alexa every I, morning. I, I, I my whole family me. hates me. I'm like, so, Alexa, yes, so play Yacht one Rock. Of my, one of my uh, adopted big brothers, little brothers, because he's taller than me but younger than me. Gotcha. Um, he's the head of uh, urban music for Sirius XM. Sweet. And I'm like, dude, if you don't make me the skipper of Yacht Rock Radio, yes. so I'm cool. going to burn you this should. fucker down. Yes, that's I mean. sweet. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. Dude. What? I have that's been gunning cool. for that position for years. Wow. So they invited me to the Yacht Rock Radio cruise no. in, so cool. um, in uh, the harbor uh, out in New York off of the Hudson. Mm. And to hear, sorry. Was that some of those posts you did? Did yeah. you post from there? Yeah, okay, yeah, I saw, I, did. I saw those. Yeah, yeah, I did. You were in there with the crowd. And to, and Chris yes, McCoy's up and there. I, had a, yes. <laughs> I saw it. I follow you. And to have the yacht rock hat on. But to uh, hear him sing, When You Get Caught Between the Moon and New York City. Oh, my gosh. One of my favorite wow. songs. Cruising around. Oh, my God. And yeah, he's talking about the moon and no New way. York. And there's the moon, big as shit. And the Statue of Liberty. And, so and, so and then that. Kenny Loggins was oh performing my next. Oh, wow. Listen, that wow. is one of those all-time we'll never forget yeah. ever. Dude, I mean, that's I... right up there with going to see Rick Springfield back in the day. Yeah, yeah. another... Amazing artist. Maybe. Yes. Uh, Huey Lewis in the news. Dude, I mean, the I mean, 80s. Wow. I say all the time, you can count mm -hmm. iconic artists that we grew up with. Yeah. Handfuls yes. in the 80s. Yeah. Literally yeah. today, yeah. I look at these artists and my and my daughter, I have a 17 and 13 year old daughter, right? So they listen to all the popular stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I try my hardest to be <laughs> open-minded, okay? Mm -hmm. Number one, I talk to them about all the time and they know I do, is I don't understand with all this it's funny going full circle, all this women empowerment. Yeah. How they could listen to these lyrics and recite them mm -hmm. from these from these guys. Yeah. That are literally <laughs> they're the most disrespectful lyrics. Yeah. Well, dude. It isn't what even Ella, it is. I mean Ella what Cool J, Grandmaster. It isn't even suggest, it isn't even suggestive on on. anymore. No. Like wet ass that. pussy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean <laughs> that whatever. I mean, but I know. It's a jam. I mean, I, know, I, know, I, I mean, know, I know. It is. Every other it word is. is suck my, suck my, yeah. you're gonna be down on my. <laughs> oh, I think I broke Matt. <laughs> you did. Oh, you did. No. And I'm going myself, what? Yeah. What is happening? Right. What is happening? Yes. Oh, we had boy. like a virgin that was very suggestive. <laughs> 
<laughs> Madonna was well, no, you guys, yeah, I mean, there's still, there was still public <laughs> enemy and slick rigor. No, there were still things going on. There was. going on. You know what it was? It was veiled in just a little bit of clash. Like, it was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a little bit of, it just had a little shade on it. You're right. If you were listening for it, if you were listening for it, you heard it. If yeah. you were a kid, you could just enjoy it. Right it. it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, yes. it's true. Yeah. It, it wasn't really like in true. your face. Yeah. Beastie Boys. Yeah, oh, yeah but there yeah, was. Right. But I'm telling you, I, I, it's just like That's I just. Funny. I love, I love, I love, I loved the music in the 80s. Sure. I, I'm obsessed with that. Yeah. I feel like Kenny Loggins, I listen to one oh. of my favorite records is Mike McDonald and Patti LaBelle in, in uh, Sweet Freedom. Love Sweet Freedom yes. song oh, yeah. from, from yes. Running Scared. Running the scared. movie Running Scared yep. with Gregory Hines. Oh. Oh. Crystal. Great movie. Great. Yeah, Unbelievable movie. Unbelievable the movie. music video for that. Un. Fantastic. Believable. Yeah, and the next, oh my gosh. So it's Michael McDonald. They're playing and okay. singing. Right, and and, and Patty LaBelle. Uh, I'll, I'll, no, I'm she's gonna, not in that. You she, no, she's, she's, she's not in, in um, but she's on my on, own. So they did the duet who on did he my sang own. Who Sweet Freedom? You with? missed one, Joe. Him, himself. It was just Sweet Freedom. It was Sweet Freedom, oh just him. <laughs> oh but boy. Billy Crystal and. Oh, no. Now listen, are you about to. <laughs> no, I'm not going to fact check you. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. You can fact check me on a lot of shit, but not Michael McDonald. Yeah, that is only Michael McDonald doing all vocals. Listen, that's the dude that did all the um, background right. vocals on Peg, okay? Mm. Harmonized with him, his damn self, okay? So, what? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Did a chord, a harmonizing chord all by himself on Peg. Don't wow. get me started. My kids, <laughs> in addition That's Steely to Dan some for of the- to, yeah. 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 Just for people that, uh, exactly. that don't know music and like we do. Oh, Toto, Black which Cow. Michael McDonald did a lot of backgrounds for. Toto. My kids really? love that. Wow. He did backgrounds on. He did background on. Um, I don't know if he did backgrounds on Africa, but Form the line, other. Down, down, draw the line. No, not draw the line. One more hit. Um, oh, uh, uh, Hold on. Hold on. Um, the other one. Uh, oh, the other uh, massive hit. I know. Soon as my heart stops breaking, yeah. this is oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll be over you. I'll be over you. I'll be over you. Yes, exactly. And he's standing Woo. there in the video, singing backgrounds, oh. just blending right on in with the rest wow. of Toto. That is wow. Exactly. So my wow. son, my nine-year-old. He was reading uh, some of the Magic Treehouse. Okay, y'all got. I love no, I yeah. know Magic Treehouse. Okay, so he was reading his one book. And How old are you kids, by the, by, by the way? Nine and sixteen. Okay, nine and sixteen. And so uh, Quincy was reading, and as soon as it said Africa, he started singing Africa, wow. and then started reading the rest of the chapter in the melody of Africa. Brilliant. Come on, wow. if I don't have a Yacht Rock baby, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's That's super cool. cool. Oh my gosh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. the greatest Ever. Yeah. Ever. 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 Yeah. Again, Dude. yes. They made soundtracks to our lives. And yeah. I and I try to and my girls love that music because I have yes. played everything for them, mm -hmm. right? So when Kenny Loggins comes on heart to heart and all these yep. songs, they know. Yeah. But um, but it's it's it I said, like, what today? I mean, honestly, the artists mm -hmm. that we have out there today, and name your iconic ones, Drake, sure. Tay Swift, whatever. How many of them, 30 years from now, are you gonna put on that record and go, right? That is that's an incredible song. Yeah. Like yeah. an incredibly written, yeah. crafted song. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might Very throw few. on some Riri 30 years from now. Uh, Rihanna's oh, got oh, some, yes. oh, yeah. But I'm saying, I feel like yeah. maybe yeah. like there's, a handful. I mean, there's, there's, there's a handful of yeah. Beyonce handful. songs that I would all no, A handful. Yeah. Yeah. No, Beyonce, yeah. a handful. Sure. But yeah. you talk about when we were growing up, I mean, there's, you, you had you, there was far more to to oh, go. There was. You run out of fingers. You do. And toes. There's I'm Lionel Richie. To there's Cindy Lauper. I mean, you could go on, and yes, I could go indeed. on. There is Luther Vandross. Yes. There is. Oh my gosh. I mean, I mean, yeah. it, it is it, absurd I, when you start so, saying it. Just saying it. You never yeah. stop. No. Like you go so out of oh, all there's, the, out of all the people that you could have a poster of in your '80s girl pink bedroom. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you drink so you don't do a spit take on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you had Michael McDonald. I'm gonna no. No. Lionel Richie. Yay! Out of all the people that you could have had in yeah. the 80s as a girl wow. with your pink bedroom. Wow. Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie. Dancing on the ceiling. I love that. That's kind of classic, yeah. though. Like, I can see yeah. the pink with, like, uh, him Lionel, and, like, right? yeah. the, the white coat. Oh, yeah. Kind of, oh, yeah. like, halo yeah. light in the head. Shag yeah. Oh, my God. So Listen, cool. I kind of like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Lionel is awesome. Lionel's awesome. He's so cool. Lionel is so good, dude. I mean, again, just... Great songwriter, just an amazing mm -hmm. songwriter. We had Billy Joel in his prime in, yes, the, in the 80s, too, yes, coming yes, into that. Yeah. I mean, he was doing Peter like- Gabriel, oh, Peter Gabriel, Genesis. Oh, dude. I mean, he's going on. Yeah. I mean, no, no, it's like, oh, I mean, my God. Phil no, 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 Collins, Sting, Collins. please. Okay, yeah. I mean, so, so I just it's saw- a nice point. Thing. We can Rolling exactly. Stones did Tattoo You. Yeah. Aerosmith was coming. Oh, my gosh. It goes deep. Yeah. On and so on. So I just saw Sting and Shaggy. Oh, Shaggy! What? Shaggy! Wow. What? When I tell you that concert was- 
Lab oh, everything. Yeah. Awesome. Here we everything. go. Man. I was in uh, St. Lucia for my birthday cool. and Mother's wow. Day. And I, so so back in 2000. What a show. Early that was 2000, so cool. Oh, it was a great show. It, it sounds amazing. Show. They're doing it again September 9th and somewhere. I'll okay. post it. Really? All right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Wow. What's up? Oh, my God, we should go. I'll hook us up. Yeah, love, Matt knows we'll Shaggy. Well, I, I I just I just hung out with Shaggy. Yeah, because yeah, he's doing a tour yeah. with, <laughs> with my girlfriend right now. Yeah, so there you go. I just saw him in where in Arizona. We just saw yep. him. Just saw yep. him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's uh, another yeah. one he's who great. doesn't age. I, but, he's so cool, by the way. I really looks, liked him. Sting I, looks amazing. Sting ate him. Oh, I was talking about Shaggy. And Sting is cool. No, no, just Shaggy. I started with Shaggy. He looks great. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, yeah. But they look so great. I know. And Sting's 174 years old. He literally is. A crib keeper. You know he was what? one of the knights oh, in oh, Indiana yeah. Jones and the Last Crusade. I'm still alive. You know alive. when they were there, he's like, you have chosen wisely. That was fucking Sting. That was Sting. <laughs> Nobody knows Listen, it. Yeah. I had to explain to my kid, again, the nine-year-old, Quincy, I had yeah. to explain oh. to him why I was so excited to see Sting. And he was like, yeah. um, that's great. I had to pull out the, the screenshot of Sting from B-Movie. Y'all remember oh, B movie? Yes. When Sting oh, was yeah. part of the trial. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. And oh, my then goodness. it became, oh my gosh, mom, that's oh, so cool. Gosh. Wow, there it is, the B movie. That was, <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, Sting, he loves you from B movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Sting loves that. He doesn't yeah. love me from exactly. I do, do, do. I do, do, do. I do that I want to say to you. Not at I, all. I, 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 what a lyric that is. If you can sing a do, 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 da, 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 hit, you can literally hit. do yeah. whatever. It's literally yeah. Stewie from Family Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a hit record. It's true. I did that, bubble, did that, yeah, You it's know? So true. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's so true. Unbelievable, oh this guy. Yeah, it's just they incredible. They did a great show. Wow. They, they did uh, all right. just I, I, I want to see that. I've never seen Michael McDonald live. I've never seen oh, any of these guys okay. live. Kenny Loggins, so, we ran into in an airport. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's right. My dad I reminds me of all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you remember when we ran into Kenny Loggins? Like, yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. In an airport in Hawaii, yeah. Kenny Loggins yeah. was there. Yeah. And my no, dad was uh, freaking out. My dad's I, a great singer. Uh, and, you know, course, he's an amazing yeah. singer, my dad. But yes. anyway, sounds like Kenny Loggins. And yeah. Uh, yeah. anyway, it was great. He was like, yeah, I loved uh, Footloose. Kenny so, Loggins was like, thank you. <laughs> Really? Yeah. yeah. And remember? here's another one that was great. Of all the songs, I love Of course your dad did. Yeah. Come on. Of course your yeah. father did. That's it's hilarious. the wonder your father didn't try to do a duet right now. That's true. That is true. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Everybody fool me. <laughs> Kick off your Sunday shoes. So I saw Michael McDonald <laughs> at the Carlisle in New York. Wow. I did. I was doing uh, uh, some work in uh, Jersey. Okay. And I found out that he was performing there. And so I went both nights. And oh my gosh, to wow. see him up close and in person. And the car has this very intimate setting. And it was more of like an acoustic set. That's so crazy, cool. right? And then when I went back to meet him for the first time, first of all, I, I actually cried and That's I so couldn't wow. talk. I started to hyperventilate a little That's bit. That's crazy. When thing. I finally got myself together, we talked about their appearance, the Doobie Brothers' appearance on What's Happening. What? Mm. What? Taking it to the streets, come what? on, what? taking it. That's what we talked about. Wow. That's what we you talked about. You don't know me. I'm your absolutely. It's so good. 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 Just, just the best. But wow. do the melodies. The do melodies, do. but again, the lyrics. But the lyrics are so good. The lyrics from from that time, the generation right before. Four oh, hours, yeah. musically yeah. speaking. Incredible. Oh my goodness! Incredible. We've only, I think, just started, maybe in the last fifteen years, coming back to it. I know, trying to get people some... like Alicia Keys. Yeah, yeah. with real sure. melodies Maroon and real, five. real, yes. real yes. Yeah. being able to to write lyrics, lyrics and, and have the song structure. Yeah, yes. it's a big yeah. thing that we like. Yes, in the Drake day and age, the song structure is non-existent. He's yeah. made records with no structure. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm it, a no, big it, fan. It, it is, it, it's, a, it's a period in music where there literally, it was like no structure. And that's yeah. fine. It's an fine. interesting, almost contemporary I type just, of a style. Right. I just love, I love verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, yeah, pre-chorus, absolutely. chorus, bridge, it's a crescendo <laughs> down <laughs> outro. I just love right, it. I absolutely. love it. I love the bridge. Sure. Michael mm -hmm. Jackson, some of the best bridges ever. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, the way yeah. you make me feel. Uh, you know, like, yeah. you know, rock with you. And I mean, uh, just. Uh, mm, so good. Human nature. Listen. <laughs> yes. So good. Quincy. Woo! Dude, so oh, yes. my really? God. Oh, oh my God. God. I mean, it's Quincy. Just, just, yeah. Actually, yes. I think Michael was telling me. Uh, or Michael was saying that he um, just last week when I saw him. Uh, no, <laughs> there's no, no. so many things wrong. Joe's with been drinking. Said, yeah. When I was a kid, <laughs> this is way he sang on a he sang background. 
for, <laughs> was it on a Doobie Brothers record or something? He sang background on one of those Michael McDonald songs. Michael Jackson I'm sang. I'm gonna find it. Well, I'm, I'm gonna find I'm, it. Cause I'm there's a you. picture of them in the studio. Is there? Oh, oh really? Okay. Wow. Yep. Oh, so he's um, onto something here. No, wow. He could be. He could be. He could oh, be. I'm definitely onto <laughs> something. Could. You guys talk, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, Siri. Oh, no. Oh, oh, don't ask Siri. Siri. Siri stays drunk What in song my phone. did Michael yeah, Jackson too. sing backgrounds on for Michael McDonald? Dude, you're never gonna get an answer. Siri, what the fuck is wrong with you, yeah. Joey Lawrence? Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. That's get out of here, Joey it, Lawrence. It's going <laughs> to ask you, Joey, have you been drinking? Yeah. 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 What a fool believes. No. Nope. No way. No. Way. And no. No. Uh, no. There's That's no way. Kenny Loggins, Doobie no. Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no Pure. way. Yeah. There's Pure. no way. Yeah, no way. No. False. No. No. Siri's me, drunk. Me, Siri's me, drunk. Me. I, I I don't think we're gonna find <laughs> this show <laughs> happening. There is a video. I saw it. There is a video, and I can't find it right now. But there is a video where Michael, <laughs> where Michael is. Can't find it right he's now. He's literally. They have a. He's in an interview, and he's like early Michael, right between uh, Off the Wall and Thriller, and he's like, yeah, I sang it, and he sings the part. Um. It did. He sings it. I, well, I've Google watched it on Google. Well, he's, on, on well, cause he's TikTok. he liked the song, and he, Michael would sing the song. No, no. Much. He said, I sang background. He was a fan. And didn't deny it. You're not talking about when James Ingram did something with him, right? You're no. not mixing up your black people. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I know it was Michael. <laughs> now, I know it was Michael. I'm a big fan of James Ingram. I know you are. And Jeffrey Osborne. <laughs> uh, huge. There's huge. no reason to bring J.O. into this. <laughs> just, <laughs> just stop it. Love it. <laughs> On the wings of love, only for the the cloud. There's only no reason for that. Fly. I'm serious. Wow. I love it all. <laughs> you don't like On the Wings of Love? I mean, it's a great record. You know? just, just, keep, just keep going, Joe. Yeah. Just keep going. I love that record. Yeah. Livius. Whatever. It hurts oh, his place. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? You guys are really offending me. I love that record. I used to sing that record all the time. I know you do a million He's about to disown y'all. He's about to disown no, y'all. I know. Y'all are about I to no it. longer be Lawrence it. brothers. I mean, oh my God. It's gonna One be my... called Joey yeah. and Brotherly Love. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. yep. Joey and kind of yeah, brotherly yeah. love. Just the Joey Love podcast. One of my favorite right? James Ingram songs. Joey love. Yeah. One of my favorite James Ingram songs was off the Beverly Hills Cop Two Joey soundtrack. No. Oh. We're just giving you a little Oh, I'm not I'm not saying very reason. I actually it's one of my very favorite songs. Which one was it? Remember, was, remember the one off Beverly Hills Cop 2? Um, it was a big hit. I love that soundtrack. Oh my God, that soundtrack's amazing. <laughs> James Ingram sang yeah. a song Beverly off, off the, yeah, he too. sang it. I'll find it. See, now Please, I have to yes. find it because it's in yes. my library. You guys keep talking. <laughs> well, that would be easier. We have nothing else yeah, to just, I, know. I know. What do you mean? We're talking about... Bev, you're Hills. basically steering the conversation here with. We'll edit all this out. No, favorite. we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> Doesn't work that yeah, way. What are you, what are you leave? talking about? You try to leave we will. as much oh as my possible. Uh, yeah. No, we will right so here. So, how are you? How's your life? Been you know, going? life is pretty good. Yeah, it's been blooming. Okay. I, I feel like I finally have hit my stride in my thirties. No. Took a while. Well, you know, hey, I just you know, I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm really not a can we, yes. side conversation. Yes. Can we can we reel this back in? Look, all I'm saying is that yes. all yes. I'm saying is that for a long time, mm -hmm. you know, uh, gr growing up in the industry, okay. you yeah. sometimes yeah. you have to navigate the right direction. And luckily, yes. I've got a good base and foundation to mm -hmm. where, um, you know, in my th when I I'm 35 and I, I feel 35. like the last, the last five years have has, has I've been the happiest. Nice. Yeah. That's really good. To stay that is. Yeah. It's really that neat. Is. You know, we actually made a commitment to each other about three years ago. We were just going to get like the band back together and start working together again because we hadn't done that in a long time. We did it a ton when we were kids, but then we took like a good decade or so off. A little more, more than that, 15 man. years. Yeah. Mm. And then we said, you know what? Like we're going to do We it. didn't take it off. We were all vigorously working. We just you know, were working we're apart. Together. Apart. Apart. Yeah, yeah. Together. Yeah, together. So yeah. walk me through that process i know this is your podcast and i don't get to ask questions you can yes you do yes um walk me through what was that so he just writes in and you can what <laughs> 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 right right who's not breaking the digital screen it's, it's like the weather exactly. forecast yeah, yeah. going right. all wrong it's what the hell <laughs> I've become this Liza Minnelli. We just got two new sponsors. Yes. We just got yes. two new sponsors. Exactly. <laughs> what? Kim, you're hired. Where are you doing for yeah. the next right. three years? Yeah, exactly. uh, sign her up, please. We do every Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah. Sign her up, please, yeah. every Friday. But, but um, what was that? What was that process? Because during that time, you also grew as as people, as men, yeah. um, as performers. Yep. And and, when and we were cultivating. Apart? Yeah. Yeah. So when you got back we, together, we were. 
stunted. We actually didn't grow. <laughs> oh, God. We grow together. No, honestly, I actually... Well, well, I'm, just no, I'm totally joking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's actually kind of true. We, you can hone in your individual you know, skills yeah. and hone your individual techniques mm -hmm. uh, and knowledge, but ultimately, the strength definitely comes in threes. I feel, I like, I feel like, to Andy's point, actually, mm -hmm. I think what he was saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that this, but by saying we were stunted in ways is that it's funny because apart... We during that time we we had some successes, but we actually made a lot of mistakes too. That's like true. there were a lot of mistakes made. Mm -hmm. That's um, true. Yeah, we went off on our own, of course. You know, and just you. It was you, great though. I mean, it molded mistakes, us to who we were today, and it's you know, like it's that, put like, everything on the you right know, track. You, you that that failure, that 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 crash and burn, sort of. That's where you. That's where you learn about yourself a lot, yeah. and uh -oh. getting back up. You know, yeah. and going like, wow, what am I gonna like? Okay, this is you know, because I feel like. It's so weird, like, you know, especially for me, like, I, I went through my life as, like, you know, having all the success that I did, right, mm -hmm. young, like I did, especially in the 90s and, you yeah. know, and things. And then, and then it was weird, like, at 33, I watched my grandmother literally pass away, right, mm -hmm. in my arms. And, mm -hmm. at, like, mortality for mm -hmm. the first time in my life. Yeah, it changes. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh, like. Because, you know, you get a free ride first three yeah. decades if you're lucky where you're like, yeah. you don't even think about. Yeah, you don't. You don't think yeah. about what your what your your body and what a blessing your body is. Mm -hmm. And how every day your body's working so hard for you. That's right. Yeah. And like when people, when people talk about. <laughs> sorry. My mic. Matt when lost people, control of his body people, now. Yeah. You know. No, but when people, <laughs> when people talk about like, and I talk to my girls all the time. Losing like, cognitive my parents said function. Like, because I never got into the drugs, never got into that stuff. But, yeah. but you know, my parents said, you know, you're doing this to your body, right? Our pop said you get one can. What you put into it is what you get out of it, you know? Mm -hmm. So you get so many and, clicks. And yeah, mm -hmm. and like you think about what this body does every day, processing all the chemicals that are in our environment, all the stuff, we, all the toxins we, and, and our bodies are working so hard. You look at something like that and you go, wow, like this is, we're only here for a finite period of time, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like what a wild thing to know that there is an end to this because mm -hmm. you never really thought of that. And at that point, you know, it really set me kind of off balance, and mm -hmm. I was trying to figure things out. You know, and then I and then I think, and you then were like career trying wise, to force you go up things and down. to happen. Yep. Like I know, if, I, yeah, I'm not trying That's to speak what for you, but it, for me, but you are. You're going to do it right now. I, I then okay, <laughs> you if, literally are speaking yeah. for him. <laughs> no, I love it. I know. We if, use all the time. If, if professionally, I can't get. Exactly what I want going. Then you know what? I'm gonna make it personally. I'm gonna to have the. I'm gonna go get married. I'm gonna have the best family. I'm gonna be the most successful mm. dad. So at least yeah. I feel like I'm worth something. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it it really can set you off on the wrong track because it's almost like it's not really that you're loving yourself. It's that you're just trying to prove that is you're value actually worth. Or is it control? It's I don't both. Know. Control and your value. It's yeah. both. Oh. Yes. Oh. Mic drop. Oh. Mic drop. Oh. Put the Kim back oh. up there, please. Oh. Put the Kim back wow. up there. Kim, <laughs> <laughs> Kim just takes right, over. Right, right. Right. Just, just, just yeah. replaces it. You know those old drawing yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. you can draw on yeah. the yeah. shake? Yeah. Jake's disappears and reappears. Now it just says Kim. There's nothing else up there. That's called an Etch-a-Sketch. Etch-a-Sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, you know. Yeah, he just missed the Etch-a-Sketch. one. We had one, but he didn't really use it. It's the toy bin. We actually played with it. We played with it. Yeah. But to get back to your question. Etch-a-Sketch. That's what it is. Etch-a-Sketch. Get back to your question. It wasn't all smooth no. and wonderful, like mm -hmm. maybe you would think. Mm -hmm. It was three guys, uh, and we're, we're all alphas yeah. in, in our own way. Three yeah. guys who haven't been working, but we have this, you know, this this foundation of being brothers and working together before, and we come back together. And there was actually some things that we had to, to situate out as men, out oh, as yeah, men. for sure, like mm -hmm. on, on the real too. Yeah, yeah. There, there always will be because it's always. as anything. A family business is is a unique thing, and it's yeah. not all. It's not all always peachy it can actually no. bring a lot of other complications but mm -hmm. then again the uh the highs of that and what you can accomplish mm -hmm. with the family unit are unmatched, uh, are unmatched. Yeah. 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 I, yeah i look at it like you know you you three lions out on the plains yeah. i mean yes. you, you have a single male he has a, no he has a really hard time what you need is a you, herd you, of females he gets to do all the hunting for you <laughs> well, that, that too <laughs> It's true. That too. Talk oh, about strong wow. women. Yeah, yeah, look at yeah. look at the king of the jungle. Yeah, yeah. He can't eat without his. <laughs> yeah. Literally, ladies, go yeah. get something. Yeah. It's so true. <laughs> I've got to do it's this. So funny, and this right. yeah. 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 <laughs> You know? Yeah. Very very yeah. true. And he comes guys. by yeah. and roars. Yeah. And yeah. Shakes his mane. Yeah. Peacocks a bit. Then goes. I'm gonna go take a nap. Thanks for that. Goes lies under a shade tree. But you know what? With that example, that analogy. Age doesn't really come into play as much when you right. are dealing with a group of alphas. That's right. true. The only thing, and this doesn't really apply here, is when you are the elder statesman, so to speak, right. which you're clearly not, but you're the oldest brother. <laughs> yeah. And I know, that's why you saw me fix so it. It's been you a saw much, me no, it's been a transitional period. Right. It's, it's been a, 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 right. a transitional <laughs> period for old, big old brother. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joe. Yeah. Why'd you have to say big old brother? <laughs> 
Joe. Yeah, old. Big old, 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 Equals, yes. yeah, yeah, in yeah. certain yeah. respects, sure. yes, and then you still deal with, however, you do the age differences, yep. you know, between you guys, the experience differences, the yep. life experience yep. differences, totally. and, well, and and how to respect that, and like you were talking about the value and the worth. It seems like you also understand yeah. what you each bring to the party. Yeah, so we, the way exact, the real, very, it's so very true. Poignant. And that's the real exactly secret right. to yeah. it is years ago when we started to embark back together in business, we made a deal, a pact. That's right. No face punches. Yes. Body hits only. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, it really is taken no, care no, of. It has. The it real major issues. I bet you created that one, didn't I did, you? Of course. <laughs> the this real is the money maker. I don't want to mess right, it up. Right, right, right. I sleep like this. He does sleep like that. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. He really Hold does. On. I was, I was, we, I, we did this. We, such jerks. This is, I tell, I've told this story a few times, but I'm going to say it again. again. It never gets old. We got to no, yeah, split this up. So I'm going to, I'll say this. It. We did a Lifetime movie. And uh, oh, God. I, I, uh, Joe, I, it was, he, and he was he, directing. I directed a Lifetime movie. He met his now wife, but then right. she, he didn't know her. And it was uh, in it was day kinda, one, day one, sort of in the peak of like, right when COVID was kind of, he was nervous and things were going haywire. Joe comes up to me, he's like, listen, man, I don't know who this actress is. I don't want to touch her. I don't want to kiss her. I don't want to be anywhere near her. Oh, and I'm God. like, but Joe, you're playing for like her husband. Like, <laughs> that's not going to work. And he's like, listen, man. We're acting. I'm doing you a favor here. You better make this move. And I'm like, okay. I mean, he was doing his favor, but you know, anyway, so he was. It was the whole thing. So the first scene, they're supposed to be sleeping in bed together. And like, she wakes up and kind of like looks over at him. Right. And then like, has a weird feeling, you know, yeah. as Lifetime movies go. Right. So she's laying in bed, doing well. And I look, and the panic, parent cams over to Joe. And I swear to God, he's like this. <laughs> and I'm like, Joe, what are you doing? He's like this. His head is not even touching not the pillow. pillow. I'm like, he's never touching the sheets. Well, like, Joe, wait, wait, he goes, he goes, I don't know if they clean these sheets, man. They were disgusting. They're in the middle they of rolling. Disgusting. And he breaks character and looks at me like behind monitor. He goes, I don't know if these sheets are clean, man. I'm like, dude, you, you literally look like a, like a, a vampire <laughs> levitating. Over, like, this doesn't work at all. Oh, man, I hate you so much. So then he like slowly, <laughs> his veins are popping out of his neck. And he's like, Because he's trying to hold his, his eight pound yeah, noggin like, off. Dude, you're, you're, you, this is not going to, yeah, so he did, and then I can't the best part, after shooting this for like a month and it's a nightmare, he ends up bringing her to no. desk and he marries this woman. I'm coming to our house. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? After We're like months, you're now seeing some <laughs> Yeah, he's like, and like months later, he ends up oh, dating this woman, and no, I'm like, wait a minute. Unbelievable. You put on my wow. Unbelievable. That's it. Anyway, guys. The so worst should... day of my life, it turned out to be a great day. Right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we should wrap uh, But this anyway, up. no, but I, I do sleep like this because, you know, I, I don't know. I, I try not to move oh, too much. I wake up and those wrinkles, they don't go away. Oh, you sleep on a no. pillow and then you wake up. At this age, they're there for three weeks. This is still the pillow <laughs> thing, I think. It's on the pillow. That's what happened. Oh, boy. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? So oh, much. Oh, we love you. This has been so, so much, much fun. Listen, best. please come back or do oh, this please. whatever you want. And if you want to go see Mike McDonald, will you let me know? Yeah. I mean, we'll go. I would love Absolutely. to do it. We'll, we'll I'm serious. I've never seen any of these guys ever oh live. Oh, my God. And I'm yeah. obsessed with them. Jimmy Kimmel had me come over when they were performing uh, about a year and a half ago on Kimmel. My dad is the uh, technical director there, and Jimmy was. I didn't know that. Invite Kimmy. I was cool. like, oh. And I had a literally a front row, no but there was way. no other rows. I was just there awesome. when they performed uh, like this private concert. So oh cool. my like, God. like an after show kind of deal. Huh. I, I, I would yeah. love to see it so Let's much. It. I'm yearning to see I those know. performers Let's because do I don't. Because I know that, like, you know, again, we talk about time, like, you know, the, the time is definitely on the shorter end of it to, of to be course. able to see Everybody's these guys. Uh, Elton John you know? just played his last show. I mean, that's the thing. Billy yeah. Joel's only Billy got Joel's one more year left one more the, Madison Square uh, Garden. Yeah. I mean, geez. It's almost over. Yeah. Like, that generation yeah. is, you know, it's I, whining. You know what? You and know they what? were older than us, but that that generation is whining itself into, like, you know, yeah. retirement a little bit, you know? I and that's, feel like this is a movie that we're starting of. You can you can direct or we can direct together. Yeah, Look, hey, co-direct. Um, we're, not, we're not gonna put you in a bed. Okay, but thank I God. Feel like as long as the sheets a, are new. I'll be in a fast well, car. You know, it depends on the budget. It's, that's <laughs> all. I know, I'm like, Joe, just lay on the table. Hold on a minute, those sheets were disgusting. Like, <laughs> the sheets were absolutely disgusting. They were, they were disgusting. Sorry, sorry. I believe you, I believe you. They were stains. I believe Thank you so much, they were stains. The stains were washed, they were clear stains. Clear stains. 
point. I was like, these are clear stains. Where That's not a good sign. Get back to this movie? That was Freudian Freudian slip. Slip. Hold on. Guys, can we get the movie we... idea out? Yeah. Ah. All right. So what if we do a road trip movie where we are going to see all of our favorite 80s? Oh, wow. 80s stars. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Wait, Half the budget is going to go to license those fucking songs. I'm already going. Yeah. 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 That's absolutely. amazing. I love it. I, I yeah. absolutely. I'm so serious. Cool. I'm serious. No, Let's I do am it. so no, no. in. Yeah. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Okay. All right. I'm serious. Right. Yeah. These cameras. Listen, go off. Gonna, I, I'm okay. gonna just throw some shit out there. No, we don't. We don't. We, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, time. we say it. that we we mean it. Yeah. I know, no joke. I know okay. who your people are. <laughs> right. You're hearing it here first. Your parents, not your yes. agents. And all no, no, I know. No, 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. I'm yes. so glad to see you. I'm so glad you came here today. Please come back. I love you too. We adore you. Yes, we do. We're so glad you're here. Everybody, give me your bail. Thank you. See you guys next time on Brady Love Pod. Thanks so much. God bless everybody. Thank you so much for being with us. Bye. It's now Bye. called Brotherly Love with a splash of sister. With the girlfriend. Hey guys, the Lawrence Brothers here to thank you for tuning in and watching this episode of the Brotherly Love Podcast. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. The link is also in the description. And we will see you guys next week. Next week. Next week.